Thursday's free boxing, kickboxing, cardio session. And let me tell you, today we're going to put in some work. You're going to be throwing punches. You're going to be throwing kicks. You're going to be throwing knees. You're going to be throwing elbows. You're going to be throwing short combinations, long combinations. And in between, you're going to be doing tons of push-ups and core work in between. After every round, we're going to do a set of push-ups followed by a set of abs. And that's in between every round, each round of punching. And if you have a watch on, don't put your gloves on until you get your watch off. So, the reason why we're adding those push-ups, we're going to take you along for the ride for us. You know, we just finished a 120-something mile bike ride. Next up, we have the project, which is a 75-hour course where pretty much I don't sleep and train and hike all day for three, three and a half straight days. Shortly after that, we have a hike, a, a, a 6,000 foot hike, supposed to be the hardest hike in California. We're getting that done. A week later after that, we have a photo shoot. And a week later after that, we're doing 24 hours worth of push-ups. So we're going to take you along for the ride on all of those and get you to join in. I'll set the date for when exactly when we're doing the 24 hours worth of push-ups. Literally, we're going to be up for 24 hours straight, seeing how many push-ups we can get within 24 hours. And that's why we're going to be mixing in sets of push-ups every single workout in between every set we can just to get conditioned for 24 hours straight of freaking push-ups. Yes, you heard that right, 24 hours straight. So we're gonna get warmed up here with our boxing. Let's start your basic punches. Your hands are up, if you're right-handed. Don't forget Facebook and Instagrams. You show it, it shows it all backwards. I don't know what this camera shows to be on, but that's like looking at the, the barbecue. Maybe they're having a barbecue over there. So if you're right-handed, your left, don't forget, this is my left, this is my right. You know, it looks opposite on Facebook. So we're gonna start with our Left leg forward if you're right-handed and your right leg back into the right. Elbows tucked in, chin is tucked. A little bounce in your step, a little flow, a little rhythm. And we're gonna start with just a straight left and a straight right for your one, two. Bounce and reset. Right down the middle. Straight left, straight right. Just getting warmed up. I'm gonna give you some rules of the day that we're gonna to follow today. We're just getting the basic punch out of the way. There's your one and your two. Your one is your straight left, two is your straight right. First, we're gonna review all the punches, then I'll explain how this training session is gonna go. Right down the middle. Go follow right along. Make sure you like and comment. Let me know where you're following along this workout from. And then share it with all your freak friends so they can get some ass kicking in also. Some fat assassination in. Yes, I said the F word, the fat word. I know it's so offensive. But guess what? You need to kill some fat on your damn body. That's what you need to do. Nothing cool about it. Right down the middle. One, two. Let's go to a quad stretch, alternate quad stretch. I'm gonna back up so Facebook, so we got Facebook over here, Instagram over here, MySpace and Twitter over here. So Facebook doesn't get, is long way, so we're gonna come back here, alternate quad stretch. Just stretch a quad for about one to three seconds and then switch sides, hold the other side, one to three seconds. So at the same time, you're working your balance on that opposite leg. Make sure the leg you're standing on, the knee stays slightly bent. Stretch a quad, switch it. Holding it for just one to three seconds each side, hold. Leg you're standing on stays bent. So you're also warming up that leg as you're balancing on it at the same time as you're stressing the other side. All right, let's go back to our punches, our three, four. Three is our left hook, four is our right hook. Don't forget, this is my left, this is my right. Facebook likes to make shit backwards to confuse you like they do with everything else. They might fact check me. Facebook might fact check me when I say this is my left and this is my right because it shows it opposite. They might have to send the fact checkers after me to see if, 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 it's, if it's correct with the left and the right. So here's my three and four. That's my left hook, right hook. Three, four, turn the hips, pivot the feet. So my hips are turning. It's like my body swinging like a door on a hinge. That's why you need to think about throwing your hooks. Three, four, left hook, right hook, and reset. Little bounce, little flow. Shh, shh. Breathe out for each of those punches. Three, four, three, four. Elbow up and out. Shh, shh. There it is, arm moving parallel to the floor you can see and reset. Keep the hands up, shh, shh. Up and out, elbows up and out, shh, shh. And good, let's go knee hugs, alternate knee hugs. Again, hold for one to three seconds each side. What is this supposed to be of? <laughs> one to three seconds each side on the alternate knee hug. At the same time, you're balancing on the other leg. So hold the right leg, or it looks like my left leg. Switch. Other side, hold it for one to three seconds while you're balancing on the other. <laughs> don't just come creeping in the middle of a workout after you miss half the workout. You don't show up on time, you don't get to join. That's the way it goes. You need to get warmed up. Hug those knees, hug those knees. One to three seconds 
each side. Let's go to our uppercuts now. Our left uppercut is our five, right uppercut is our six. So let's do it. Five, six, twist the body, twist the waist. Breathe it out, shh, shh. crunch it, crunch it. Five, six, five, six, and reset. Left upper is five, right upper is six. Bounce, flow, rhythm. Just getting the blood flowing, just loosening up. Shh, shh. Five, six, five, six. Boom, boom, twist the waist, get the abs into it, the obliques, the lats. Power is coming from the ground up. What is this, is this already done? Something is booting us, <laughs> it's taking the shh, shh. life out of us. Crunch into it, crunch into it, boom, boom. And good, let's stretch those shoulders out. Fling the chest open, grab the shoulder for one to three seconds. Fling it open, grab the other side for one to three seconds. Hold it while you're still moving your feet. Fling it, stretch it. Fling it and stretch it. Keep the legs moving. So we're walking just in place while we're doing this. All right, check this out, how these rounds are gonna go. Every combination we throw, before we throw the combination, is gonna have a double jab in front of it. So a double jab in front of it, and then you throw the combo. So let's say our combo was a one-two like we just practiced, right? Let's say our combo was a one-two. Before we do it, we're gonna throw a double jab, then bop bop, then our combo, and then every combo is gonna finish with an alternate strike, either a kick, an elbow, or a knee. If our combo ends in a straight punch, we're gonna add an opposite side kick. If our combo ends in a hook, we will add an opposite side elbow. If our combo ends in an uppercut, we're gonna add to the end of it an opposite side knee. So let's start that. You're gonna get how this goes. It sounds a lot more confusing than it is. It's a simple shit, kindergarten level crap. You should be able to follow. So let's start with our combo as a one, two, right? Our one, two. So what do we do before we throw our combo? Double. Who's in pain? Double. <laughs> what do we do before we throw our combo? I'm looking over here because I want to hear a Russian in the background. Double. What do we do before we throw the one-two? Double straight punch and double. then one-two. Double straight punch? Well, double jab. What? They can't hear you. Double jab! So before we throw the one-two, we throw a double jab. So a double jab before every combo, then our combo which is one-two, and then what are we going to add? The combo. One-two. We just added the combo. Oh. Uh, then an ultimate strike, a kick. Which one? Specifically, after a one-two, what do we add at the end? Front kick. What kind? Left or right? Left. Why? Because we did a double jab. No. One-two. We're ending with a right, right straight. So we're ending with an opposite kick, opposite side kick. So technically, if we did a two-one, we'd end with a right kick. But our combo is a one-two. So here, follow this along. Let's do it. Jab, jab, one-two. Opposite side kick, boom, reset. So whatever, whatever punch we end with, we end with the opposite side alternate strike. If it ends in a straight, it's an opposite side kick. When it ends in a hook later, it'll be opposite side elbow. When it ends in an uppercut later, it'll be an opposite side knee. But for right now, it's just a one-two. So double jab, combo one-two, left kick. Get that leg up there. Hands up, hands up, bounce around in between. So double jab, one-two. Left kick, pump it, pump it, bounce around, move around in between, double jab, one, two, opposite side kick, and reset, hands are up in between, double jab, one, two, and left kick, okay, that's the opposite side that we finished on, we finished with a straight right, a straight, and a right, so we add in a left and a kick, let's go, double jab, one, two, and left kick. Loosen up. We're just getting warmed up here. Just getting you into the flow to figure out how this is going to go. So we're going to be following these rules all day long. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Shh, shh. Double jab. One, two. Boom. Opposite side kick. That's a left front kick. If you're on a bag, you can do a roundhouse. If you're just doing the air, just do a front kick. You don't need a bag. You don't need gloves. You can do this right in the air, bare fisted, if you wanted to, or just hold some light dumbbells or water bottles. Double jab. One, two. Opposite side kick. All right. Our combo is going to be a two, one. Tyson, our combo's a two-one. Show me the whole chain. Don't screw this up, boy. Your life depends on it. The combo's a two-one. Go. Double jab, two-one, and opposite side kick. Look how easy that was. Now you'll figure that out first try. So you should be able to figure that out if you're at that level. What grade are you in? Third, fourth? What grade are you in, Tyson? Fourth. Fourth grade. 
I probably should know that shit, huh? Anyway, let's go. So a two, one is your combo. So let's start. Double jab. Two, one. Right kick. Opposite side kick. Double jab. Two, one. Right kick. Hands up, hands up. You're moving around. You're bouncing around in between. Every combo is going to start with that double jab. Then, So it's not double jab right into your two one. It's a separate combo. So we want to do a double jab. Pop, pop. Then, boom, boom. Then, bam. Then let the kick follow right after the, the, the two one combo. Opposite side, alternate strike. Double jab, two one, kick. Reset, hands up in between. Move around, keep that blood flowing. A little bounce in your step. Keep it rolling. Pop, pop. Boom, pop. Bam with the kick. Double jab. Two, one. Opposite side kick. Move around, move around. And pop that kick in there. Drive that kick. Front kick. Bend the knee and extend on the front kick. Hands up. Pop, pop. Two, one. Opposite side kick. Yes. Move around, move around. Double jab. Two, one. Right kick. Since we start ended on the left side of the straight, we add in that right kick. Hands up, hands up. Double jab. Two, one. Right kick. Hands up, bounce, bounce. On the balls of your feet. Little flow. What is that noise back there? What is going on back there? Security about Hands up, hands up. Double jab. Two, one. Right kick. Time. All right, you can hit the floor for 10 push ups and 10 lower crunches. Let's go, 10 push-ups. Right off the bat, we're just getting those push-ups. We're getting ready for our 24 hours worth of push-ups the weekend after March. So we got a while for that still. Maybe we should do it sooner. No, we need, we need too much other stuff coming up. The weekend after Vegas, the photo shoot in Vegas, then the next weekend after that. So whatever the weekend is after March 3rd, whatever the Saturday is after March 3rd, Saturday 12 noon to Sunday 12 noon, will be 24 hours worth of push-ups. I don't even know if that was 10 or not. Flip right over onto your back for a lower crunch. I don't know if Facebooks can see us. Right to a lower crunch. Knees just curl into your chest. Just for 10, so just getting warmed up still. Just getting the body flowing. So we're going to be mixing in many sets of push ups and many sets of core here. So if you want to join us and do the 24 hours worth of push ups with us, start preparing now. Start mixing in shitloads of push ups on every workout, it's gonna help get you conditioned for when that happens. That's still a, a month, over a month away. Cause there's so much other stuff coming up in between. The hike, the project, photo shoot, a Las Vegas trip, all the good stuff. All right, combo now is three, four. After, if a combo ends in a hook, we add on an all opposite side elbow. What do we start with in the beginning to before the combo? Double jab. So we go double jab, then three, four, left elbow. See how we finish with a right hook? So we add in a left elbow if you're hitting the bag here. The hook is landing with your knuckles. The elbow is landing with obviously your freaking elbow. That's why it's called an elbow. What do you land the knee with? What do you land the knee with? With your, wait. We've got time. What do we land the knee with? <laughs> Let's go, combo three, four. So double jab, three, four, left elbow. On this one, you can go three, four, you can flow, bam, right into the elbow. If you have a bag, you can see how they're going to crash that elbow in. See, double jab, three, four, and then left elbow. Opposite side elbow. Double jab, three, four, boom, left elbow, reset. We're going to go back there and hit some on the bag. You just keep following along. Double jab, three, four, elbow. Yeah. Pop, pop, boom, boom, slash with the elbow. Reset, double, yes, three, four, elbow. Pop, pop, boom, boom, slash. Three, four, elbow. Double, yes, three, four, elbow. Yes, 
We're going to combo as a 4-3. Four, 4-3. Three. Four, three. So that's going to be right hook, left hook. So before we do the 4-3, you know we're going double jab, right hook, left hook, right elbow. Slash in. Because we're ending with a left hook. So we add in an opposite side elbow. Let's do it. Pick up the pace now. Pick up the pace. Go on. So pop, pop, hook, hook, elbow. Reset. Get that wasted. You should be getting tons of core work here already. Just from this twisting, from these elbows, from this, from this movement. Let's go. Pop, pop. Boom, boom. Slash in that elbow. And reset. Maintain your stance. Keep those hands up. Keep a little bounce in your step. Keep on flowing. Pop, pop. Follow right along. Boom, boom. Elbow. Reset. Double. Jab. Hook, hook. Bam. Slash that elbow. And move, move, move. Boom, boom. Right elbow. And then reset. Move around, bounce around. We need some rhythm, some flow in between. You're light on your feet in between rounds, in between combos. Double, jab, hook, hook, right elbow. Reset. Double jab, hook, hook, and elbow. Pop, pop. Right hook, left hook, right elbow. Reset. Hands up, little bounce in your step. Pop, pop. Boom, boom. Slash. And recover. Double jab. Boom, boom. Slash. Gonna show you some on the bag back here. Let's do it. Pop, pop. Boom, boom. Slash. Oh, yeah. Pop, pop. Boom, boom. Slash. Double jab. Right hook, left hook, right elbow. So left, left, right hook, left hook, right elbow. Double, jab, four, three, elbow. Double, jab, four, three, elbow. Reset. Push-ups, 10 upper crunches. Let's roll, let's roll. 10 push-ups, 10 upper crunch. In between every round, we're gonna add in some push-ups and some core. Let's do it. Two, three, chest to the floor, feet are together. These are peak freak push-ups, not some half-ass bullshit push-ups. We're on our knuckles and our chest is touching the floor. Just your chest, not your gut, not your nuts. And fully extend your elbows. Flip right over for an upper crunch. Where your knees are bent and just curl the upper body. Just 10. We're still just barely getting started with this workout. Tension on your abs the whole time. Time. All right, combo is going to be a 5 6. Combo is a 5 6. That's a left uppercut, right uppercut. So if it ends in an uppercut, then you know we need to add an opposite side knee. So I'll walk you through the first one and then we're just gonna be off. So it's double jab, left upper, right upper, left knee. Because every combo starts with a shh, shh, double jab. Our combo is a five, six, and opposite side knee if it ends in an uppercut. Let's roll. Double jab, double jab, pop, pop. Upper, upper. Left knee, reset, pop, pop, five, six, 
left knee. Recover, recover, reset, move around. Get those feet moving. Five, six, knee, left knee. Keep moving. Anthony Del Regno, what's up? From Rockland County. Boom, boom, ha. Five, six, left knee. Do it, let's do it on the bag. Double, jab. Five, six, left knee. Why do I hear your voice the whole time? Why? Last time I had to get that back. upper right upper left knee drive 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 Donna Barada is jumping in let's roll let's roll follow right along you're going double jab that's jab jab left upper right upper left knee don't forget Facebook showing you the opposite shit of what you see one pop left upper right upper left knee let it flow let it flow reset pop pop upper upper left knee recover Pop, pop, upper, upper, left knee. Couple more, couple more, couple more. We're working now. Now we're getting warmed up. Now we're getting warmed up. Five, six, left knee. One more, one more, one more. Double, jab, left upper, right upper, left knee, time. All right, we're going to six, five. We're going right to it. So six, five, you know, is a right upper, left upper. So we're doing the double jab before that. Jab, jab, right upper cut. Left uppercut means we're adding in a right knee. So if it ends in an uppercut, don't forget, we add in the opposite side knee. Let's roll. Starting with a double jab. Pop, pop. Six, five, right knee. Reset. Double jab. Six, five, right knee. So you do on the bag. Pop, pop. Six, five, right knee. Jab. Yeah, right upper, left upper, right knee. Pop, pop, boom, boom, bam on the knee. So that's a pop, pop on that double jab. Boom, boom on the two uppercuts and bam on that right knee and then reset. Get your distance back, get your balance, your coordination, your flow. While those hands stay up in between. Double jab. Six, five, right knee. Even if you're just in the air, you still body temperature should be up. You're still gonna be burning tons and tons of calories. Should already be out of breath and already be sweating if you're going full speed. Reset, recover. Double jab. Six, five, right knee. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Move it out. Double jab. Six, five, right knee. Bounce around, move around. Even that in between, you're working, you're burning calories, you're keeping your heart rate up just with your footwork in between. Even when you're not punching, you're all over the place. You're moving, full of energy. Raise the energy level in the room. Whatever room you step into, you need to raise the fucking energy level. That's what you need to be thinking. Everywhere you go, be the energy. Be infectious with your energy. Pop, pop, boom, boom, bam, reset. More, a couple more. Pop, pop. Upper, upper. Boom with the knee. Two more, two more times. Jab, jab. Right upper, left upper. Bam with the right knee. We're dropping down for 10 push ups again. We're going to keep getting those push ups in. 10 push ups and then 10 double crunch where your upper and lower body come together. 10 push ups. Go, bang them out.
flip right over onto your back for a double crunch where your knee, upper body, lower body come up and together, down and apart. Keeping your lower back pressed into the floor. Squeeze the top, resist down. Let's go. Tension on your abs the whole time. Double crunch. Finish it off, 10. High. All right, we're about to take a break at 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You don't need any freaking break right now. We're just getting started. We don't want to ruin the fun and waste time sitting around, sipping on a freaking water jug. We're just sitting around bullshitting. That's not what we're here for. We're here for freaking work. All right, let's do it. Our combo is going to be a one, two, three. All right? Combo is going to be a one, two, three. Straight, straight, left hook. So straight left. Straight right, left hook. All right? So you know every combo before you throw the combo today, we're starting with a double jab. It's ending in a left hook, so what does that mean? We have to add the end, opposite side, elbow. If it ends in a hook, we're adding an opposite side elbow. So it's gonna be right here, I'll walk you through the first one. Jab, jab, then our combo, one, two, three, right elbow, reset. All right, let's do it. Jab, jab, one, two, three, right elbow. Even in the air, you can in the air, you can use your own glove or hand as a target for that elbow just to cut it short. So it's a little different of a flow, a little different of a movement than the hook. All right, let's do it. Jab, jab. One, two, three. Right elbow. Reset. Bounce, 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 bounce. Pop, pop. Straight, straight. Hook. Right elbow. Reset. Get that abs and waist into it. Get your whole body into this. The power is coming from the ground up from your legs. Let's move. One, two, three, right elbow, reset. Pop, pop, one, two, three, right elbow, and recover. Hands up, hands up, you're breathing, you're focusing, you're flowing. Bounce around, bounce around, bounce in your step. Pop, pop, one, two, three, right elbow. You can get a couple on the back here. What are you looking at me for? Why are your gloves on upside down and back? Yes, yes. One, two, three. Right elbow. Reset. Pop, pop. One, two, three. Right elbows. Reset it. Pop, pop. Move, move, move. Elbow. Oh, yeah. Pop, pop. One, two, three. Elbow. rolling. That's a one, two, one, two, three, right elbow. I'll go slow in case you don't have it. So every combo starts with a double jab. That's a straight left, straight left, little pause, then a one, straight left, two, straight right, three left hook, adding in a bam, slashing right elbow. Let's put it full speed. And reset, reset, jab, jab. One, two, three, right elbow, and reset. Hands are up, hands are up, moving around. Blood is flowing, bounce around. Keep that body temperature up. Elchin, Elchin, what's up from Laguna Beach? Pop, pop. One, two, three, right elbow. Hands up, move and bounce. Pop, pop. Straight, straight, hook, right elbow, and move. Keep those hands up, you should be following right along. Moving around, punching holes in your damn wall. Punch in the couch, punch and do whatever the hell you gotta do, keep it moving. Pop, pop, one, two, three, right elbow, and recover, recover, move around, move around, need some energy, some flow, some bounce, some rhythm. Pop, pop, one, two, three, right elbow. Hands up, hands up, keep it moving, keep it moving. Pop, pop, one, two, three, right elbow, oh yeah. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Shh, 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 shh. Boom, right elbow. There it is, there it is. Punching Joe, yes, I like it. Is he hanging, you have him hanging from his ankles from the ceiling? Good old punching bag right there. One, two, three, right elbow. Bounce around, move, 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 move. 
One, two, three. Elbow. Those hands up. Whatever hand's not striking, he's got to stay up by your chin. Protect that face. Some of us can't afford any more damage to this beastly looking thing here. Attached to our shoulders. Reset, reset. Move and bounce. Couple on the back here. Pop, pop. One, two, three. Elbow. Oh yeah, the longer the combo, the longer the rounds. Pop, pop. One, two, three. Elbow. Reset. Time. All right. This combo is going to be a one, one, two. We're sticking with three punch combos for now. This one's going to be a one, one, two. So check it out. It's a one, one, two. That's the combo. So we still have to do the double jab before that. So check it out. It's going to be a double jab, pause, then one, one, two. We know we need opposite side kick because it's a straight. It's going to be a left kick. So you're going to go pop, pop, then a one, one, two, and boom, left kick. <laughs> hands up, hands up. Pop, pop. Combo is a one, one, two, opposite side kick. If finished with a straight right, it means we're adding in opposite side kick. Let's go. Pop, pop. One, one, two, left kick. Work through it. Move around, move around. Hands up in between. Double jab. Sets it up. Then a pop, pop, boom. Left kick. Reset. Back to your distance. Back to your stance. Back home. Back to your guard with your hands up. Pop, pop. Then a one, one, two. Boom. Left kick. Whip that kick. Whip the hips. If you're in the air, you can just do a front kick. If you have a bag, then just come around with a roundhouse kick. One, one, two. Left kick. Pop, pop. One, one, two. Boom, and a left kick. And a reset. Move around, move around. Hands up, hands up. One, one, two, left kick. And good, time, 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 time. All right, so check it out. We're gonna go a one, two, one here, which means we're adding on a right kick. So you're gonna start with the double jab, pop, pop, then a one, two, one, right kick. So a lot of jabs, all straight punches. That's what we want. We want you to get into this flow, get into this rhythm, let this stuff click in your head. The second you finish that combo, with a straight punch, you're automatically just coming out. Bam, whipping in that opposite side kick. Just a bonus. It's just a bonus strike for the enemy. Let's go. Double jab. One, pop. Then a one, two, one. Right kick. Reset. So that's left straight, left straight, reset. Then left straight, right straight, left straight, right kick. So it's a double jab. Then a one, two, one. Right kick. See some on the back here. Pop, pop, one, two, one, right kick. Pop, pop, one, two, one, right kick. One, two, one, right kick, reset. Pop, pop, one, two, one, right kick. Back to your stance, back to your bounce. Pop, pop, one, two, one, boom. One, two, one. Ha. Rolling, keep rolling. Double jab. One, two, one. Right kick. And reset, reset. Move around, move around. Bounce, bounce. Your energy should be up. Blood should be flowing. Sweat should be dripping. Pop. One, two, one. Right kick. Time. All right. This combo is going to be a... Four, a two, three, four, two, three, four. So it's gonna be straight right, left hook, right hook, which means left elbow. We add a left elbow. We finish with a right hook. So we add opposite side elbow. Of course, you know that double jab will be in between. Yes, we have to do push ups before we get to this. Let's hit the ground for push ups. This round, we're going to 15 push ups, 15 crunches. 15 push ups, and then we're going 15. Double leg, leg lifts. Facebook, I don't know if you can see. I think I got to back up. You guys do them over there in the middle so you can see. 
I don't think they even see me. Let's go, 15 push-ups, 15. All the way down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Right over on your back. We're going double leg leg lifts for fifteen. So you're flat on your back, both legs straight up in the air. Lower them down to your heels, graze the floor, and bring them up fifteen times. Squeeze up, control down. All the way up there. Legs are straight. Tight abs. Lower back is pressed to the floor the whole time. Five more. Keep it strong. Tension on the abs. Two more. And time. All right. So the combo here is two, three, four. Right? Two, three, four. Straight right. Left hook, right hook, adding in a left elbow, starting with the double jab. So I'll walk you through the first couple, we'll show them on the bag, and then back here to the air to finish it. So double jab, nice. combo is two, three, four, add left elbow, reset. So don't forget, our combo is two, three, four, but we, add, we start with a double jab, we're finishing with an opposite side elbow because it ended in a hook. Let's go. Jab, jab, two, three, four, elbow, reset. Two, three, four, left elbow. You got it now, you got it, you got the flow. You already got the rhythm of how this is going. You get the template. You understand how it's working already. So keep moving, keep moving. Pop, pop. Two, three, four, elbow. And reset, show you a few on the bag. Good workouts, good workouts, good attitudes, excellent. Two, three, four, left elbow. Double, jab, straight, hook, hook, left elbow, reset. Bounce around, move around in between, double, jab, two, three, four, left elbow. Pop, pop, two, three, four, left elbow. Ah, ah, boom, 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 elbow. You can slow that elbow right off of the floor. Double, jab, straight right, left hook, right hook, left elbow. Just so you know, it doesn't count as a workout. Just so you know, you haven't done anything. You've done zero, zero, none of the count. Let's go, double, jab, two, three, four, left elbow, and reset. Double jab, pop. Sun's down, I think. I don't have to worry about the this, this tall dome frying. I can take it off. Plus, that shit gets hot under that hat. But the sun's going behind the palm trees, so we're good. Pop, pop. Two, three, four. Left elbow. And reset, reset. Pop, pop. Straight. Hook, hook. Left elbow. Chain it together now. Let me see you go full speed. Let me see you go full speed. Couple more, couple more. Because really the one, one can go right into the two, to the three, to the four, to the elbow. Bam! Bam, sucker! Bam. Hop, hop! Two, three, four, elbow! Time! Time! Alright, this one's gonna be just uppercuts. You're gonna go with a three, four, five. So it's gonna be left hook. Right hook, left upper, which means we're adding in a right knee. Of course, we're gonna start with that double jab to start off. Double jab, start off. So it's a double jab, reset, three, four, five, right knee. So again, the three, four, five. Three is your left hook, four is your right hook, five is your left uppercut. We're adding in the opposite side knee because it finished with an uppercut, leading it off with a double jab. Let's go, walk you through one more time, then we're gonna roll. Double jab, pop, pop. Three, four, five, right knee. That's a double jab, left hook, right hook, left uppercut, right knee. Let's see it, let's see it. Pop, pop. 
three, four, five, knee. Reset. Jab, jab. Hook, hook, upper, knee. Boom. Bounce around, bounce around and flow. Jab, jab. Three, four, five. Boom. Do it. On the bag for a few. Jab, jab. Three, four, five. Right knee. Jab, jab. Three, four, five. Right knee. Reset. Reset. Jab, jab. Hook, hook, upper. Right knee. Got left jab, left jab. Then left hook, right hook, left uppercut, right knee. Reset. Hop, hop. Hook, hook, upper knee. How many gaps do you think you've thrown so far? No, no five. Five? My left arm was to fall out. Hands up, hands up. Jab, jab. Three, four, five. Right knee. Keep moving, keep moving. A few more, a few more, a few more. So you have that jab, jab. Three, four, five. Right knee. Three sets. Go a few more. A few more right here. Pop, pop. Three, four, five. Right knee. One more time, one more time, one more time. Pop, pop. Three, four, five. Right knee. Time. We're going for 15 push ups, followed by 15 single leg leg drops. That's both legs up in the air. You drop one leg down and bring it up. Then the other one comes down, 15 per side. After 15 push ups, let's roll. 15 push ups. Go. We're going to get you conditioned for these push ups. So a month from now, you can join us for the 24 hours worth of freaking push ups. 24 hour challenge of push ups. And then right onto your back with both legs straight up in the air, dropping one leg down at a time. One, one, tension on the abs. Two, two, single leg leg drops, alternating side, 15 each side. Four, five, five, control it down, tap the heel, bring it right back up. Tension on the abs the whole time. Five more each side. Tighter abs. Last two each side. Hold it in there, hang, hold. Hold. On your feet. What's up, freaks? Shake it out. We are still rolling. Ooh. We still got plenty left to get to. We're gonna go right now with a six punch combo. Different, very, actually, we're not gonna get to it because I wanna get a few more of the three punch combos so we can get a better flow. Because I want more, I want more of the alternate strikes. The six punch combo take away from that. So we still have a few more to get to. We're gonna go all on the left side. So your left arm, you were crying about your left arm, you're gonna feel it even more. Yay. We're gonna go a one, three, five on the left arm. Yay. One, three, five. So that's a one, three, five. That's a straight left, left hook, left upper. We at finish, yes, hanging in there. Finish with the left upper, that means we're adding in a right knee. And it's also starting with a double jab. So that's gonna be five left arm punches for this combo. Five left arm punches and then a right knee for this combo. <laughs> That's what All right, let's do it. Do your bears. I'll walk you through it. So start with that double jab. Double jab, then a one, three, five, right knee. Let's go. Double jab. One, three, five, knee. See, because we ended in a left uppercut, so we're adding on opposite side knee. Yes, holy shit. <laughs> it says up there, holy shit. Pop, pop. One, three, five. Right knee. Reset. Let's go on to the bag. This is an easy one. Yes. Yeah. Pop, pop. Then one, three, four, 
three, five, right knee. Reset. Pop, pop. One, three, five, right knee. Pop, pop. One, three, five, right knee. One, three, five, boom. Don't forget one, three, five is all on the left side. So we start with the double jab. One, 62 years old. Out there kicking ass in New York, 62 years old, beating the shit out of the air and beating the shit out of Joe Brada, hanging from the ceiling by his ankles. Pop, pop. One, three, five, right knee. Pop, pop. Nowadays, you take care of yourself. 60, 62, 65. You can, you'll, you'll, you'll be ahead of the 30 year olds because they're lazy and want things handed to them these days. So you're way ahead of the game. Kicking ass out here, following along with us. I like it. Pop, pop. One, three, five. Right knee. All right, we're going to switch right away into the right side. So it's going to be two, four, six, which means we're adding a left knee. So start with that double jab, double jab. Our two is a straight right. Four is a right hook. Six is a right upper. Oh, opposite side knee. We finish with a right uppercut, right? Start with the double jab, walking through one more time, then we're gonna show you on the bag. Let's roll. We are rolling. Pop, pop. Two, four, six. Left knee. Reset. Double jab. Two, four, six. Left knee. Let's do it. Double jab. Pop, pop. Two, four, six. See what I'm doing? This two, four, six. Look where my left hand is the whole time. Glued to my chin. Ha. Until we come out for that knee. So protect your face. Whatever hand's not punching stays up at your face. Hands up, hands up. Pop, pop. Two, four, six. Left knee. Left knee. Keep it rolling. Keep them up. Keep them up. Keep those hands up. Pop, pop. Two, four, six. Left knee. What was that? Hitting my knee. You need yourself in the chest. <laughs> you need yourself in the jaw or something. It was like your jaw. Popping. I know. I was like. Pop, pop. Two, four, six. Left knee. Gonna show you on the bag. Me too. Pop, pop. Two, four, six. Left knee. Left knee. Double jab. Power, power, power. Boom. Ooh, wrong knee. Left knee. Left knee. Left knee, drive it in there. Ha, ha, go, 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 bam! A few more, a few more, a few more. Double jab. Two, four, six. Left knee. Ha, ha. Two, four, six. Left knee. Two, four, six. Left knee. Couple more. Couple more. Pop, pop. Two, four, six. Left knee. One more. One more. One more. Boom, boom. Two, four, six. Bam. Time. We're going down for our push-ups and our abs. It's gonna be twenty push-ups and twenty flutter kicks per side. So you're gonna count out forty flutter kicks. Twenty push-ups, forty flutter kicks. We're working your chest, your shoulders, your tries, getting you ready for your 24 hours worth of push-ups. You're gonna follow along that we do at the beginning of March, or whenever the hell that was. Let's go, 20 push-ups. On your knuckles, suckers! Knuckle suckers. Five. 10. 15. Flip on your back. Flutter kicks, 20 per side. 40 total. Let's go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, two, four, six, eight, 32, four, six, eight, 40, done.
Alright. On your feet. On your feet, freak shows! Freak shows! Alright. We're not going the opposite of those two combos. We're going to go on the left side. It's going to be five, three, one, which means right kick. Of course, you start with a double jab. So that means you're going to go five. Can you see that hands? Five? Can you guess what finger I'm putting up here? See who can guess what finger I'm putting up right there. Yeah. Guess it. How do you know it's the middle one? You're not even here. He got the middle one from the house. I guess he just knows his pop pa. All right. Double jab, pop, pop. Then five is a left uppercut, three is a left hook, one is a left jab, finish with a right kick. So we finish with a left side straight, adding in the opposite side kick. Let's roll! Pop, pop, five, three, one, right kick, and reset. Pop, pop, five, three, one, right kick. Hands up in between. Five, three, one, kick. Let's do it. All on the left, look at that. Five punches in a row on the left. Straight, straight, upper, hook, straight, right kick. Pop, pop, boom, boom, boom. We're moving, we're flowing, we're rolling at this point. Reset. That's a double jab. Double jab. Upper hook straight. And boom with the right kick. Move around. Reset. Hop, hop. Upper hook straight. Pop, pop. Upper hook straight. Bam. All right, we're going right away the other side with no break, no rest. Now we're going six, four, two with a left kick, right? So six is right upper. Four is right hook, two is straight right, means we're adding on a straight, and a right means we're adding an opposite side kick. Of course, entering in, leading the way with our double freaking jab. Let's roll. So, double jab, six, four, two, left kick. Got it? So that's left, left, then right upper, right hook, right straight, left kick. Put it together. Double jab, pop, pop. Six, four, two. Left kick. Got it? Pop, pop. Six, four, two. Left kick. Pop, pop. Six, four, two. Boom. Hands up, hands up. Boom. Ooh, got to start with the double jab. Double, pop. Upper hook straight, left kick. A few more, a few more. Bang these out, bang these out. Come on. Boom, boom. Six, four, two. Left kick. Three more times. Three more, three more. Six, four, two. Bam. Two more, two more, two more. Double jab. Upper hook straight, left kick. Reset. Last one, last one. Full speed. Boom! All right, we're back on the floor. On our knuckles, 20 push-ups. And then no. we are doing double crunches for 20. 20 push-ups, 20 double crunches. Going in three, two, two oh. one. Rolling! 20 push-ups, knuckles, go! Chest to the floor. 10. Back straight, feet together. And flip onto your back for a double crunch like we did earlier. We're going 20 of them. Upper and lower body together. Up together, down apart. Get to 20 if you need to. And then catch up. Do what you gotta do. 20 crunches, go. Don't let your stomach loosen up. Don't let your abs loosen up when you come down. Your stomach, it's not your stomach. Your stomach is an organ, dumbass. <laughs> oh man, we're going to 20. Keep your abs tight. Keep your stomach tight. Keep the organ tight too. Why not? <laughs> Fuck it. Keep the organ tight. What? How are you supposed to do that? How are you supposed to keep your organ Time. tight? Time. I don't even know that was 20, but I don't want to forget this one. I don't want to forget this. We are all done, freak shows. 
But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If I'm telling you an exercise and training you, and we're doing an ab set or maybe a plank, and I say, all right, keep your stomach tight. There was a, a gentleman that was talking about it. He happened to be a, a PE teacher somewhere. I'm not going to say where or whose class or school or anything. On an online PE. Not saying where it was, whether it was maybe here in California or where maybe it was. I'm talking. So, this gentleman who was teaching this, I guess had some comments about people saying keeping their stomach tight. He said, yes, awesome workout, Donald Barada. He said, it's not your stomach, you're not keeping your stomach tight, it's your core. And he starts rubbing this round Buddha belly, making a wish for good luck or some shits for good fortune, <laughs> saying that your stomach is an organ. Like, shut the fuck up and get on a treadmill. Like, seriously, like, come on. Who cares? You get the point. If I say keep your stomach tight, you understand what I mean. Keep this tight while you're doing your crunch. You're not going to keep your organ tight. How the hell do you keep an organ tight? Let's try to keep our stomachs tight. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to shit myself if I try to keep my stomach tight. So just keep your stomach tight. How about that? And don't eat donuts. That's the annual call of win for the day. Anyway, we are all done. Hairy knuckle. Fist bump. High five, fist bump, whatever it's called Zubik. for all the different okay, no. tweeters and, and, and Instagrams Zubik. and all this stuff. Yes, he was a smart ass. So, listen, yesterday I did some videos, some, some, some posts about doing hard shit. How doing hard shit is useless. It's a waste. If after you do hard shit, like even a workout, after you do a workout, if you're doing that just to support your poor eating habits, you're doing hard shit. Yes, Juditha, awesome. Thanks for joining us. So if you're, if you're doing hard stuff, hard workout or even training, exercising, and the only reason you're doing hard shit is to have an excuse to, to shovel a bunch of cake and shit into your face. So don't do hard shit to support your poor, support your poor habits. That's a, that's a fucking waste. It's stupid. Do hard shit to propel you to the next level and to increase your habits of discipline and to do hard stuff so you can have some growth. Have some growth through pain and through suffering and doing hard shit, choosing hard over easy. Easy is a waste. Easy is average. Easy is mediocre. Easier, easy is, is fat. Easy is lazy. Easy is sitting on the couch. Easy is broke. Easy is empty bank account. That's what easy is. Choose freaking hard all the time over easy. That's what you need to do. But don't choose hard just to support your bad habits. Don't choose hard to then waste the next day and say you need to recover because you did something hard. You know what? Choose hard, something impossible. Shit that people think you're lying about. And the next day, don't take the day off. Don't rest and recover. Do some more hard shit the next day. Maybe not as hard. Of course, you want to be smart about your recovery and all that other stuff. But keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. So about a month from now, we have scheduled 24 hours worth of push-ups. We're going to stay up for 24 hours straight and see how many push-ups we can get in 24 hours. That's choosing hard. That's what we're going to be doing. So, yes, no Ficking, ficking excuses. I like it. I like it. So that's what it's all about. Choose hard to make yourself better, not just to eat a fucking cupcake. That's not what the point of it is. So we have a whole list of hard shit we're doing for this year after we did this, this bike ride, and it's just going to get better and better and harder and harder. Choose hard to get yourself better, not choose hard to eat some fucking donuts. Not to take a day off, not to rest, not to recover, not to have an excuse to do, to, to do stupid shit. So anyway, awesome work. Another hairy knuckle fist bump for you. No freaking excuses, or as that says, I don't know, ses ukes on, or whatever the fuck it says, because Facebook wants to do shit backwards, ass backwards. Anyway, I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses. I'm guessing Freak Show here has something he wants to tell you. No! Very, very normal child. I can't imagine where he gets it from, and I also can't imagine why none of our neighbors invite us over. I can't get it why all the whole neighborhood hates us. It might, I don't know if it's, maybe it's the screaming, maybe it's the yelling during the workouts, maybe it's the, the 5 a.m. workouts that we do here in, in the garage that rocks the freaking neighborhood, or maybe it's the bear crawls up the street, the crab walks down the hill. Don't know what it could be, but no one invites us over for freaking dinner. That's a weird, some weird shit. Screw it. I have you freaks. All right, I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.